Chapter 9. The Mystery is Explained. We stared at Holmes in astonishment. The black pearl was stolen over a year ago, said Holmes. Do you remember the case, Lestrade? Of course, said Lestrade. The story was in all the newspapers. The police never found the thief. But how? The pearl belonged to an Italian princess who was visiting London, said Holmes. The princess had a maid. The maid's name was Lucrezia Venucci. The name of the man Beppe murdered was Pietro Venucci, I said. Exactly, said Holmes. I'm sure Pietro Venucci was Lucrezia Venucci's brother. The maid stole the pearl. Then she passed it to her brother. But somehow Beppo got the pearl from Venucci. We don't know how. Perhaps Venucci gave it to him to sell. Or perhaps he stole it from Venucci. Then Beppo got into a fight with another Italian. The police were chasing him. He knew he would be arrested. If the police searched him, they would find the jewel. Where could he hide it? Beppo was working at Gelder and Company, went on Holmes. Six plaster busts of Napoleon were drying outside the workshop. Beppo was an excellent sculptor. He made a hole in the plaster of one of the busts and hid the pearl inside. It was a good hiding place. But then Beppo was put in prison for a year. And while he was in prison, his six busts were sold to different people. And all the busts looked the same, I said, so he didn't know which bust the pearl was in. Exactly, said Holmes. When Beppo came out of prison, he had to look at all the busts. First, he went to Gilder and Company. He learned that three busts had gone to Morse Hudson. The other three had gone to Harding Brothers. Then Beppo got a job with Morse Hudson. He was able to find three of the busts, but the pearl wasn't in any of them. Some Italians were working at Harding Brothers, Holmes continued. They helped the Beppo. They had the sales books. They told Beppo where the other busts were. Beppo went to find them, but Venucci was following him. Venucci had been looking for Beppo all over London. He had been showing people Beppo's photograph and asking where he was. At last he found Beppo and followed him to Horse Harker's house. They fought and Venucci was killed. How did you know there was something in one of the busts? I asked. The thief carried the bust to a garden near a street lamp, said Holmes. He needed the light of the lamp. Clearly he was looking for something. He broke the bust and then searched through the pieces. When I heard the name Venucci, continued Holmes, I was sure I had seen the name before. Then I remembered the robbery of the Black Pearl. I found the story in an old newspaper. I saw the maid's name was also Venucci. Many people thought she had stolen the jewel. So I began to think about the Black Pearl. Was the thief looking for this pearl? There were still two busts left. One was in Chiswick and one was in Reading. Chiswick is nearer London than Reading. I believe that the thief would try to steal this bust first. So we went to Chiswick and caught Beppo, said Holmes. But we did not find the Black Pearl. The last bust was in Reading. I wrote to Mr. Sandford in Reading and he brought the bust here. And so we found the Black Pearl. Lestrade and I were silent for a moment. Then we began to clap, like the audience at the end of a play. It was wonderful how Holmes had solved the mystery. Excellent, Holmes, we said.